Hey guys, Sam here. Hey gang, Sam here. Can you believe that video released five years ago today? I uh, kept the Chomskys. Don't eat those, Sam. These are five years old. Give me fat. Gross. That makes today Dropout's five year anniversary. Feels like a miracle we made it this far because frankly, we almost didn't. Before Dropout was even two years old, our parent company dropped us, leaving us to pick up the pieces. Luckily, it was January 2020, an innocent time when nothing could go wrong. Not so fast. Oh, okay, if I... okay. If this is about to be a COVID joke, FYI, things were bad before then. We had a terrible president and we all got fired. Break is right. It was a pretty shitty time anyway. And then a pandemic happened. Talk about going viral. Absolutely not. I won't lie to you, I was scared. Scared that the company I spent my whole adult life trying to build was gonna fall apart. Scared that I'd no longer be able to work with my amazing comedy peers. And scared I would let down the fans. Hey, you suck, bring back Frank War. Maybe not that fan. I hate change! But against all odds, Dropout survived. No one believed in us, not our corporate parents, not the industry at large, heck. Not even some of us. I thought you'd be bankrupt in a week. But someone did. You, the fans. <laughs> you shared the videos, spread the word, made some really compelling fan cams. And you saved us. Thanks to you, we've grown into the best version of the company to date, without any corporations, networks, or advertisers to muck it up. And we're working hard to make that version of the company cool as hell. Not to mention patient, ethical, and responsible. Sam, can we talk about the new merch? I don't know that we're 100% appreciating the irony of this. Not to mention better than certain other multi-billion dollar streamers. I'm being paid $500 just to say this line. Thank you, Ify. Ify's going home because we want to be respectful of his time. Can I go home? Look, Brennan, free snacks. You think I can be bought with a bag of chips? I'm leaving as soon as I finish these. It's been a long road. It's taken a lot of luck, good timing, and viral TikTok game changer clips. But the one thing it's taken above all else, the thing this business too often takes for granted, is people. People like Dropout staff working tirelessly on our operations. People like our crew putting so much hard work and effort into every one of our shows. People like you, the fans, sharing our stuff and supporting us every step of the way. And people like Lily Do. I take 50% of the credit and my outfits take the other 50%. I can leave now, right? I want to be respectful of your time. Good. What? Come on! I got so many chips left. Art isn't made by AI for algorithms. It's made for people, by people. Five years. We weren't sure we'd make it to two. But now, thanks to all of these good people, we can imagine being around for a long time. Making more of the shows you love and even more shows we think you'll love. What shows, you ask? Oh, I don't know. Maybe shows like this? So to commemorate what is a huge milestone in the life of college humor, the website and YouTube channel that started it all, one of the most storied and impactful and important comedy brands in history. We're going to kill it. That's my computer. Can I just get like a... <laughs> Never mind. College Humor was a brand founded nearly 25 years ago by Ricky Van Veen and Josh Abramson, largely because the dot-com was available. But after dropping out of college humor, dropping out of advertising, dropping out of corporate America, the name Dropout somehow feels more appropriate. Ricky and Josh, myself, and so many others owe our careers to you. Thank you for paving the way to who we are today. You're very welcome, Sam. It's like I always say, if you're gonna use two brand names, just use one. Rest in peace, college humor. We're Dropout now. Your dad's gonna keep calling it college humor no matter what. We can't fix that, it's fine. I actually killed this whole bag today, for that's, real. That's true. 